Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we got some pretty, pretty good news to talk about. I, I'm pretty excited to hear about this myself, um, and it makes me even more excited, like, for the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 at this point. Like, at this point, like, I, I'm just happy with, like, what we've been told so far, and the fact that we're going to be getting a brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer sometime uh, these next few weeks as well, it, like, which is most likely going to be a Big Hero 6 uh, trailer too. I, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. But anyways, just to kind of keep you guys in the loop of what's going on. First of all, let's go ahead and mention the fact that if you haven't logged in already, please make sure you log in uh, today or sometime this next week or so because we're actually getting a free 13,300 jewels uh, as a gift from Square Enix to celebrate the anniversary of the JP's version of the game. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of like weirded out that we're actually celebrating it with them. Not, I'm not complaining, okay? Like, I, I, I appreciate it by all means and like I cannot... All I'm trying to say is that like the global version of the game has just seen so much like abuse and for so long it just feels weird to actually be treated nicely for once if that makes sense at least speaking for myself and i would like to assume many other players as well um uh, we're just not used to it we're just not used to the treatment and even including all the events they've been doing lately for the global version of the game i my only hope is that they can continue to keep up this type of treatment because this is the type of treatment that i more or less have been wishing that we could have been seeing for quite a long time. It's not perfect, of course, but it's it's starting to head along the, the right track. Uh, it's slowly, slowly putting some hope into me, thinking that maybe, maybe this game can actually start becoming fun again. And real quick before I change the topic as well, I just want to give some quick advice about the 13,000 jewels that you guys received today. Uh, if, you are, if you haven't already just blasted uh, most of your jewels on one of the banners currently within the game, I highly recommend that you hold on to them until sometime near the end of the month uh, just for a few reasons. One, because of the fact that Axel, not Axel, that the Organization 13 event is coming up within like two weeks or so um and second because of the fact that we are expecting to get the foreteller medals uh within this like next week or so as well and the third is i am highly highly expecting something absolutely crazy crazy and ridiculous even more broken than the uh foretellers to be coming out after the foretellers come out okay so probably sometime near the end of the month like maybe the week after the month week after september or something like that's what i'm expecting this is typically what square enix tends to do in team in terms of releasing banners during month-long events such as like anniversary and stuff this is what they've been doing lately um they throw in the teasers at the beginning of the month they throw in some really good hardcore stuff in the like middle sections of the month and then towards the end of the of that month and the beginning of the next month they like to throw in all of the op stuff that everyone all of a sudden doesn't have jewels for because they wasted it on all the good stuff in the middle of the month okay and then everyone's complaining about oh i don't have any jewels though what are you doing blah 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 like they they do it all the time it's completely planned okay i'm highly expecting it um, so i highly recommend saving your jewels if possible but anyways yesterday we went ahead and talked about how on the Japanese version of the Square Enix website, they are showing off their third anniversary. And I told you guys as well that they only showed off five of the seven projects that they were going to have uh, coming out. The sixth one was actually the, the 13K jewels that, uh, that I just mentioned. But the last thing is actually this part right here. And I completely forgot about this until uh, literally just recently, <laughs> until someone told me and stuff um, before I saw this. But version 3.0 of the game which is what we're going to be receiving fairly soon is the actual version of the game in which we will be receiving the new classic kingdom mini games that are also going to be within the kingdom hearts 3 uh video game as well these are the exact same games that you can play in the kingdom hearts 3 console game uh but we're also going to be able to play them on union cross 2. now the cool part about this is that if you actually receive a certain high score we don't know what it is just yet but if you receive a certain high score within the classic kingdom mini games uh within union cross you're actually able to unlock a brand new keyblade to be able to use uh for kingdom hearts 3 which is actually going to be the starlight so they are quite literally taking the starlight from union cross and putting it straight into kingdom hearts 3 and i cannot begin to tell you guys how cool this is to me how excited i am to actually unlock this thing now 
Um, and better yet, because I don't know if you guys are aware, uh, but there's actually a Keyblade leveling system within Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. Just like how there's a leveling system for Keyblades in Union Cross. So, so that begs to like speculation that very possibly we might be able to actually upgrade our Starlight Keyblade to look exactly how it is at the level 35 level. I don't know if it's going to glow or not, but it should at least look like the level 35 level like all decked out and stuff with like the colorful parts and everything so i am super stoked to play this when kingdom hearts 3 actually comes out i'm super stoked when the actual mini games come out as well um and i guess at least when it initially comes out it'll be really fun to actually compete with like friends and stuff in terms of like high scores for the mini games and such i like i think this is going to be great Next up is that we just got a new event within the Union Cross game as well called the Enhancement Support Event. And in here, we're actually able to get the Treasure Trove Booster as well as some Magic Mirrors and a couple Brooms. Now, these challenges are actually uh, fairly difficult. <laughs> I'll be making a guide uh, hopefully sometime soon as well. I know uh, Damien from Demo. Uh, 279 has already posted one if you want to go ahead and check that out in the meantime. But... They are fairly difficult. Luckily, the ones that actually contain the boosters themselves aren't too difficult. Uh, and it is for the treasure trove. Um, and as far as I'm aware, from what I've heard as well, um, for upcoming PvP this week, so like tomorrow after reset, we are only going to be using the treasure trove for this coming week's PvP. I, I kind of find that hard to believe considering that we literally just had a one Keyblade week like a week or two ago. So it feels kind of weird that we're getting another one so soon. But... Hey, there's nothing I can do about that if it's true. Next up, we have the VIP deal. Just like the last two weeks, uh, if you purchase VIP this week, you will also get a gold ticket on Monday. I still don't like the fact that we can't actually claim the gold ticket right away, similar to like how you can uh, do a mission to unlock the, the VIP medal or the brooms or the like gems and stuff. I really think they should just add a quest that you can go ahead and beat and claim your gold ticket right away. I don't like the fact that we have to wait so long. I don't like in the first place that the only way we can get a gold ticket outside of PvP is just through VIP as of right now. But at least in the meantime, I think it would be really nice if they just implemented a quest that we can get to claim it right away. Other than that, we are also getting the last bit of the Toon Roxas and Pals VIP medal along with 1400 extra jewels. Uh, that's basically to be expected and that's the medal, blah, blah, blah. And probably my favorite part, along with the uh, the Starlight Avatar boards, uh, is the actual Starlight Angel Wings for both yourself and your pet uh, for VIP. And to be honest, I think this is absolutely like fantastic. It looks so beautiful. Uh, even on my avatar, I try to make it look, look as festive as possible, um, especially for someone who's been to like Disney World for like quite a few times and seen the light show parades myself. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. I can only imagine what it looks like. I can only imagine what it looks like to actually uh, get in top 10 for anybody who is able to get top 10 uh, wearing one of these things and just kind of be very nostalgic feeling. So. I, I think it's pretty dope, uh, but they do, the Angel Wings themselves do provide a skill perk of plus eight, and as far as I'm aware, uh, they are the third item in the game in terms of accessories that actually provide a plus eight perk uh, off the top of my head. Uh, but aside from that, we are also getting the seven magic brooms, uh, the times two gems for all three attributes, the VIP magic mirror quests, uh, so the rest are fairly kind of standard. Next up for this week is actually going to be the Merry Go Rowdy Raid Boss that we have for this week in which you're able to get the Starlight Bow Avatar part. It's this part right there. It, it literally goes on your head. Um, but the boss, the raid boss for this week is actually pretty cool. Kind of similar to how we got a custom uh, raid boss during our Global's uh, second anniversary as well. We're also getting the same type of raid boss that JP's anniversary, third anniversary raid boss has too. Um, which kind of goes along with the theme of the whole like show lights type thing. Which is basically, it's a like uh, merry-go-round light horse thing. <laughs> <laughs> that you fight against and then when it attacks you it actually turns into like a knight riding a horse and just like rampages over you i think it's pretty cool it's pretty cute uh, i i definitely laughed at it at first when i fought it uh, but in case you don't know but in case you don't know the starlight bow itself also provides a raid boss perk of plus five 
The raid boards for this week's actual raid boss um, is actually pretty good as well. So if you are uh, looking at these three raid boards that we have for this week, if you go look, click on the Radiant raid boards, um, there's actually some jewels. You can get up to 300 jewels for doing the raid boards in the first one. Um, along with getting the avatar part as well, of course. And in the second raid board as well, you can also get uh, brooms and magic mirrors. And in the third board, you can get chips and dales. The notice did mention as well that we can get a Fantasia Mecha B, so I'm not sure where it is exactly at the moment. Maybe you have to do all the boards in order to unlock it or something. Uh, but according to the notice, you're also able to get a Fantasia Mecha B. It is worth noting as well that each of the raid boards actually do Per, like need a ton of raid coins to actually completely go through them um, which means you guys if you're looking to get any of these items will have to be spending a lot of time uh fighting the raid bosses to get raid coins because i spent about an hour during one of the times uh bonus hours and stuff and i only got about 2,000 coins more or less and even just like the top one for the brooms board is like 1900 jewels i mean jewels coins very boss coins and like obviously there's a lot of ones that cost a lot below that too and this is for every single board uh, it's also worth mentioning as well that during the bonus hours this week instead of your raid boss actually going up by five levels like we're used to in the past uh, for this week it actually goes up only by two levels each time this time last but not least and i kind of mentioned this already beforehand uh in terms uh, the VIP deal and stuff, but we're also getting these Starlight Avatar boards, and I absolutely love these things. It, like I mentioned before, it also just completely reminds me of like my trips to Disney World with the light parade shows and such that they have at night and such. But in these uh, Avatar boards, they are 3,000 jewels a piece, and you also and within them you can get Fantasia Mickey B's Magic Mirrors and special gems. And what's actually cool about this is that this time, within these Avatar boards, you can actually get Sun and Moon gems this time too. Um, it's not the usual. Uh, power, speed, and magic that we usually get within these avatar boards. This time it's actually sun and moon. So that's actually pretty good to know because um, I know we've been getting kind of lacking in the moon gems and sun gems lately, and especially since because of the fact they keep kind of blocking the moon gems behind paywalls, uh, which honestly kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit. But at the very least, it's, it's in this avatar board if you're interested in that. Uh, but it does come with some really good skills, though, so it's actually kind of worth it, too. Um, in the form of Attack Boost 7, Max Engage 0, Attack Boost 6, Max, and Lux++. Plus plus. So that's better than those 5 Max and Lux++ plus plus we've been using so far. Defense Boost 6, and I know I know that one right there is going to cause a lot of terror for <laughs> PvP. Um, Attack Boost 7 and AP+, plus and Lux++. Plus, that one's kind of eh, but the other three are actually, like, fantastic. And you get all four of these uh, in each raid board now the thing worth noticing as well is that uh the hats that you get so let me go back so these hats right here for the avatar boards they do provide a skill perk of plus nine uh, i believe it might be this one that's actually there's only it's probably the third one in the entire game that actually provides a plus nine skill perk i might have gotten that confused with the plus eight that gets provided from the the vip maybe it's both i don't remember off the top of my head i just know one of them's like only the third in terms of whether or not you guys should get this though uh, i do think it's very very much worth getting at least one of these uh, if you're a free to play player uh getting one of these would probably help you out quite a lot i probably wouldn't recommend more than one though and of course it depends on how many jewels you have if you're low on jewels i'd recommend saving your jewels instead and not actually getting the avatar board uh just because of the fact uh, that like i mentioned before we are expecting quite a lot of things to pop up fairly soon um, but if you are maybe like a VIP player, for instance, you can afford to get one, if not both, of these avatar boards. And of course, you're, if you're a whale, you should very easily be able to get both of them without a worry. All right, but that's it for today, guys. I am absolutely excited about the new updates that we got recently. I'm starting to restore a little bit of hope in this game. I'm still not quite there yet. I need to see consistency from Square Enix first uh, before I can start feeling really positive. Um, about this game i need to, i need to see i need to see how things are from like a month or two now make sure they're like you know they're actually keeping up with things and it's, and this is not just like a one-time thing just for the sake of anniversary that's what i need to see and of course i am also completely fanatic about the whole kingdom hearts 3 uh thing with the starlight and stuff like i 
I just can't wait. <laughs> but other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below as to what exactly you guys think about the whole thing. Are you excited? I Because I know I am. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Team Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.